What is going on everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. Um, I got a different video for you guys today. Uh, normally I talk about my car uh, or whatever I'm doing on boats, jet skis or something like that, right? Or family's vehicles. But this is a different take and mind you, this is my take, but I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you guys think about this situation and this story. Of course, to each his own. We all make decisions, we all live our life our own way. Now, I started following this Instagram page about two years ago. Uh, this indi individual used to own a C6 base Corvette 0607 year because it was still a LS2 with an A6 six speed automatic transmission with a pedal shift. So the same trans I got um, in my C6. Now, he bought the car, um, pretty much no mods, just basic bolt-on stuff, <coughs> excuse me. And over the years, I, I really got into his page because he started modifying the vehicle, heavily modifying the vehicle, but all done in either a professional way or a tasteful way. Let me explain. The vehicle ended up having a supercharger fuel system, flex fuel system, um, headers, cam, uh, full exhaust, multiple sets of wheels, you know, drag packs, uh, ZR1 wheels, aftermarket wheels, big money stuff. Um, you know, obviously full exhaust and all that. Um, all of the interior and exterior uh, upgrades you can do, including upgraded seats. I'm talking about this guy went all out, all out. Head unit, cameras, all the, and we were messaging back and forth over these years, you know, and I was saying, wow, your vehicle is nice. And then about seven months ago, he started a process of converting his base uh, C6 Corvette into a wide body C6, like your Grand Sport 06 and ZR1s. But he didn't go with some cheap, you know, wide body kit. This was all OEM parts. So quarter panels, front fenders, bumper, all this stuff was painted and put together to look like it rolled off the conveyor line where they built as a wide body Corvette. Looked absolutely amazing. Professionally done from the inner wheel liners to the pushpins, everything looked amazing. And I, I, I can't even imagine how much money he spent um, on the engine performance parts uh, and the body kit. So let me just put it to you this way. The vehicle ran a high 10 uh, quarter mile. Very, very stout for LS2. Very, very stout for a transmission. On top of the transmission was uh, beefed up, so was the diff. And um, high 10s making probably just north of 800 horse on the crank. So unbelievable. I think the only thing, if my memory serves me right, he didn't touch uh, were the heads. The heads were still stuck so was the intake manifold but whatever it was still very stout and it was built by a very good performance shop in his state and his city the body work looked flawless i obviously didn't see the vehicle in person only pictures and videos but i can tell you it looked great so i he started posting you know more and more videos and pictures and i was constantly looking at this car and saying wow like this person actually has good taste and does things right but uh, then he posted that, you know, he loves the car. He would never sell the car. But, of course, never say never. You know, things come and go. So I see a post recently within the last couple of weeks of this, this same C6 sitting on a flatbed on a tow truck with original five-spoke chrome wheels and all of the body panels missing. So the white body was off the car. So... I thought to myself, well, maybe this was when he first started the project and he just slapped on the stock wheels so they don't get damaged or whatever, or maybe he was doing something else to the car, or um, it, it's uh, one of those things where he got into a car accident. So I reached out to him and I said, man, what's going on? He never replied back. And then about a week later, I saw that he picked up a uh, ZL1 Camaro uh, stock, but obviously 10 speed transmission. And let me tell you something ZL1 Camaro stock or not, automatic or manual, those things are super fast, super stout vehicles um, right out of the box. Amazing, amazing vehicles. They're heavier than Corvettes, but they freaking run like just wild horses. So, anywho, um, he finally reached out to me and said, and this is why I'm making this video, and this is why I want you guys to leave your comments, your take on this whole logic. He said, I'm putting this vehicle back to stock. Everything back to stock. It has just over 60,000 miles, and I'm going to sell it stock. Well, your vehicle is no longer stock. 
even if you put all the body panels and all the performance parts off the vehicle, it's been heavily modified. You're never gonna mask everything on this vehicle. Now, C6 Corvettes from that um, generation, or I should say C6 Corvettes from that from those years, they vary in price, okay? A base Corvette can be anywhere from $15,000 all the way up to $30,000, depending on the year, mileage, automatic or manual transmission. Obviously, manual transmissions with like LS3, they run more, right? But at the end of the day, we build these cars for us. For somebody to think that um, you're gonna, you know, raise the value of your vehicle by modifying your vehicle, you're totally wrong. If anything, you're gonna actually lower the value. So I get that point. But the issue is the money, and the money doesn't make sense. So let me explain. To build the vehicle the way he did takes a lot of money. And you know some of, some of the stuff he did himself, but most of the heavy lifting, as I say, was done by shops, um, body shops, performance shops. So all the parts, all the money spent on parts and labor to put this vehicle together, uh, it's probably more than what the vehicle is worth currently. Then to take this vehicle and take it all apart in hopes of selling all of the parts to recoup something. Well, guess what? When you take this vehicle apart, somebody else is taking this vehicle apart. So you're going to pay them again. And to me, that right there made no sense whatsoever. You already paid to build this vehicle. Now you're paying again to unbuild this vehicle. And... His last reply to me was, well, I know what I'm doing, I'm the best at it, and I've done it so many times. Well, you could do it a million times, but money talks and bullshit walks, as they say. There's no freaking way that even if he sells all these performance parts off this vehicle, let's say he gets $25,000 for the vehicle, you're gonna get only half, if that, for all of the, your performance parts and your body parts, because most of the time, maybe the color doesn't match or whatever and people won't pay full price for a used item especially when it comes to performance parts how many miles do you have on it how hard did you drive it asking questions right and sometimes people won't even go for used performance parts because well they're building up their motor and they want to make sure that it's new legit and you know works like it should so comment below let me know what your take is of this video. This is a this is a true story. This person is doing this. I've never once heard of anybody uh, doing this, building up a vehicle and then taking it all down to that extent and trying to sell it as stock. And of course, once again, a wide body conversion, high performance Corvette running high tens or whatever is only a wide body to you, to the owner. On paper, it's still a base. I, I understand that, but the person the person's logic was, and still is, if he puts it ba back to base, it will be easier to sell. Well, not really, because once you go above a certain level, it's always cheaper to buy someone else's race car or built car than build it yourself. That's just the proven fact. So yes, you're gonna lose money either way, like I said in the beginning of the video, but at the same time, somebody's out there looking to buy a complete finished car and maybe take that 5% and make it your own by changing a few things here and there. But all the guts, everything is there and you just basically buy it and you enjoy it. And I guarantee you that he probably would have pulled close to $30,000 on his modified, fully modified, beautiful C6 versus basically just cashing out twice to build it and then to unbuild it. So that's it. Crazy story, makes no sense to me unless this person just has cubic dollars and if they had cubic dollars then what's the point why even go through the trouble of selling parts comment below